in general, Paraná is pretty safe. I mean, they're just like anywhere you go, there are some areas that can be dangerous. I would say if you're with a Brazilian, definitely watch what he does because he, most of them grew up in or at least visited in their cities or had friends that lived in a favela type situation. And so they, they know how, to, how the situation goes. Even your members, like for instance, when I was in Quebec, the members in Quebec who are, who are wealthy, they know how, how they're supposed to walk and how they're supposed to act inside of a, fa of a favela so that you don't attract attention. Most people don't mess with missionaries to start off because they're pretty superstitious about things with religion. And so they typically, unless if, you know, they're doing some sort of drug or something like that. They normally won't mess with you, only if they're truly desperate. In my mission, I never had anything. There was a story about uh, one missionary. He did get stabbed in his backpack, um, but I heard that he kind of had antagonized the person also. So just be careful with the people you talk with. If people are getting upset about you talking with them, I would just leave them alone. That happened to me one time. Somebody got really upset. Thought, he thought I was just ruining his day off because I was um, talking to him and he said some awful things and I just walked off and left it at that. It's the best thing you can do. Probably the most dangerous part of the mission, I'd have to say, besides that little favela I said in Lenor, the next most dangerous spot would probably be in um, Fozu Guasu in the southern part of the city just because there's a lot of drug and, tra and gun traffic from Paraguay that's going right through there. But again, they really don't mess with missionaries. The only reason that, that favela and Lenore are so dangerous is because there have been people who have tried to kill missionaries before there, so that's why they don't want missionaries going there anymore. Other than that, I don't know. I found it to be a, a fairly safe environment. Even at night, I felt fairly com comfortable walking through the streets and everything. It's just keep your eyes open, be smart, don't I mean, use common sense and it shouldn't be a problem at all.